Hello people of the internet! It is that time of the month again, well the time of the month that I do this, which is around the 15th-ish. Um, I seem to do these um, haul videos, or hauled videos as my husband calls them, um, around the 15th. And that's generally because that's um, that's when my credit card rolls, you know, your sort of statement date. <laughs> so that's generally when my statement comes in and then I look and go, oh, I'll do my haul video. Anyway, so that's what this is, a haul video, yay! I'm going to start with this big thing first, I'm going to start with stuff first. Now the funniest thing is I thought there's not much stuff this week, month, this month. Um, there is still a fair bit of stuff. Actually, that reminds me. I saw a video the other day and it said huge colouring haul and I thought oh settle down get a cup of tea see what this person's bought it was six pence uh six oh my next door neighbour's just distracted me sorry I'm gonna have to say that again um it was just six colouring books and I was like how is that a huge haul if that's a huge haul I hate to think what my haul would be called but anyway that's beside the point I bought this um I've actually done a review of this in a video um which you've already seen. Um, so I won't labour the point too much, but I bought this, um, yeah, so you've already seen the video on that, but it is in this month's haul. The other thing I bought was these, which are the Crayola Colours of the World. You've all seen them, you've all got them. These are the pencils, these are the crayons. Um, I did think about getting the Super Tips as well, because Amazon was doing a deal on all three um you know like you, as a pack so you could get the crayons the thingy and whatever and um yeah i haven't even had a chance to play with them i haven't had a chance to play with anything really this month because 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 i don't think i've got any crayola 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 pencils apart from these Oh, there it is. Oh, no, that one's more yellowy. Oh, this is like foundation. I've got to find your colour match. Oh, shouldn't play with these too much. You've probably already seen them. They're quite nice, though. Not bad. Not bad for four quid or whatever they were. Oh, not allowed to say prices. They were four pound. Just what I tell you. I can't remember how much the crowns were, so uh, oh, let me just try a crayon. It's the only enjoyment I get is having a little. Oh, nice. Extra gold and deep. Oh, that's the same colour as that. They match really nice, don't they? Oh, oh smell those. Oh, that leaps you back into childhood, doesn't it? The smell of Crayola crayons. I keep picking one really dark and one really light. There's a nice middle of the road one. Hmm. Oh, it's lovely smell. So, I got those. Uh, the next thing I bought was this uh, pencil case. And zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Should have stayed out. Uh, this pencil case I actually bought for something else. And it didn't work for the something else. I love the pencil case. I think it's such really nice bright colours and it's that waterproofing material. But it works perfectly for the Arteza Super Tips. Uh, not Super Tips, twi twi markers. So you can fit all 100 in there beautifully. Look, not, not even a gap. Well, there's a gap there where you not got enough. I'll put all the neons together. I'm not a fan of neon. So, yeah, I bought this pencil case. It didn't work for what I wanted it for, but it was beautiful for these. I did have them in the... Hold on. I did have them in the Arteza um, pencil case, which is similar to this, but it holds way too many. It's like there were two whole flaps going spare. So I'm going to... I'm going to sell that, the RC's one, because I'm never going to use it. And I'm going to keep them in here, because I really like this. And then putting it straight back on the, the shelf where it belongs. The next thing I got was these. Now these are, <laughs> they're already bringing over my swatch bit of paper. But there's not many in here, look. There's only four, well, there's five of the eight. And these are 
Stabilo fine liners, and if you have the full set, which it was 47, these are the new colours altogether in, in a pack. And I've already used three of them, which is why they're not in there, and, and they've been um, amalgamated with my others. But these are nice colours, such as um, strawberry and artichoke, and they're really fine if you are into very fine, 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 fine liner mandalas then these are for you i think this one's called green mud or something yeah but yeah i i bought those um they had gone down in price from 10 pound to six pounds okay so that was those and then the next thing that i bought was this which you'll have already seen this because i actually bought this when i was out in the shops in the real world so, yeah, I bought these, this from, oh, I always want to say Paper Tiger. It's not Paper Tiger. Flying Tiger, which is like a, a store in Denmark that has stuff in it. That's over here. There's a few of them over here. I also bought, at the same time as I was out buying these, these, not the pencil case, but the... Um, paper make flares now I've thrown the box away there was a bit of a story with them you may have seen if you have watched my come shop with me me showing these um, and then I swatched them and two of them or three of them didn't work straight off the bat and then two or three of them uh, stopped working when I actually started <laughs> writing with them so let me see I think the, the black one was one of the ones that decided it didn't want to yeah see basically I started writing with it and it just slowly giving up the ghost and I haven't even used these anyway two or three of them stopped working can't labour the point too much. People tell me that I go on too excessively, so we won't labour the point. But um, I did actually get, uh, contact WH Smith, which is where I bought them from, and they gave me a gift voucher to the value of these, which I can spend online or in store. So it didn't work out too bad in the end, even though half, the, not half, probably about six in the end of the pens stopped working. So that was all the stuff that I bought this month. How good was I? I know, um, but there is a little stack of books just next to me here. So let's start at the beginning, the best place to start. I bought this, um, which is called Colour Metrics, as you can read. And it's a colour by number, uh, it says, Welcome to a Stunning Colour by Number Challenge. Shade in the shapes to unveil uh, amazing animals. And I have this book here, this... The book that's advertised on the back that says about uh, animetrics with stickers. I have that. I got it for my birthday. Ooh, 2017 or something. And I've done quite a few of the stickers in it. And this is similar. It's sort of like shapes that you colour by numbers in. And I just really fancy doing it. I mean, I really fancy doing all, everything that I buy. But time is always the issue. The, the next book I bought was this. And I was really looking forward to this book and I've done a flip through of it and I also did a flip through on my Instagram and um, because my one was printed a bit weird I had um I think I've got a page missing it's got this kind of weird sort of printing error all the way through and then there was a page that was sort of printed shrunken down a lot of people have told me that's the same in their book as well that one which is not full not full screen as it were like all the others and colour crestopia did actually contact me and say that this was a misprint and they would send me another one and they did send me another one and the other one was exactly the same <laughs> so um i told him it was exactly the same and they then uh, actually said uh really sorry can you do you want to pick another book and i said okay um one of the ones I hadn't got was the animals one. So they've sent me this one for free, the animal one, which is really nice of them. 
yeah, this one looks quite interesting actually. It's one of the older ones, but I hadn't got it <laughs> badly cut. They they come out of the old Amazon machine. But yeah, looks nice. Quite looking forward to that one. And it was funny because there was only two that I didn't of the black background. Two Colour Questopia books with the black background that I haven't got out of the ones that I want. Whew, that doesn't make much sense, does it? But I don't want them all. I don't want like the Otter one or the scary Halloween one. And the other one that I wanted was this one. And um, this one went down to £2.83. So um, I got it. Well, I actually bought my... It's a long story. My mum bought it for me for my birthday. But she bought one for herself as well. So um, we both got one which is the Angels one, which I'm really looking forward to because it's got smaller details and I quite like the ones with the smaller details. Don't get me wrong, it's the one with the 50 colours, which is a bit of a headache, but the pictures in this are much... This is more the colour Questopia that I like doing with the smaller smaller details. So that's my colour Questopia books. Now, when this one came, this black background flowers one. I was really looking forward to this one because I don't know I just look like the look of the pop of the colour on the black background and when it came I was, I was a little bit disappointed with it because it's got like this the grey key lines around it so it's, I don't know it wasn't as I was expecting it to be so I ended up actually buying two books by this lady um, bought the flower one first to see what it was like and this is more what I was expecting that one to be. So a really nice dark black background. Not backed in black, which I quite like that because it doesn't make the paper so mad. And just really, you know, I sort of poppy colours would work nice in this. A really fancy colour in this. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, it says joy. Find joy in your journey. I really like that and it wasn't that expensive. Can't remember how much links are down below so um so i ended up actually buying two more by the same lady <laughs> number one was amazing swirls and she does both of these elena bogdanovich wow don't ask me to say someone's name all her books are available in the black or the white background so i bought amazing swirls which looks really nice too not quite as nice as the flower one but I think it'll look really nice with like neon pens, Emma. Neon pens. So that one. And then this one, Spring Flower Mandalas by Stephanie, Stefana, Miro. <gasps> Not Miro, Miro. And this, this is nice. This is a nice dark mandala book. I mean, it's black, black on both sides. I mean, that is blacker than... It's good printing on this one. I mean, it is still Amazon paper, but it is seems to be better printed than some. So that's a nice one. So there was the three black backgrounds that I got from. I think these were all made by the same company. But oh, Happy Coloring, that was it. Happy Coloring and Happy Coloring, yes. So I've quite, never heard of them before and I was really happy when I found them, so happy with those. Then you will have already seen my um, flip through of these two great painter books, the Picasso and the Miro um, flip throughs. I know they're not for everyone, but there was no flip throughs out there on the internet, so I wanted to put the flip throughs out there. They're not quite what I was expecting. <laughs> Um, I like the pictures in the Picasso one. No, I'm not sure I do. <laughs> I was just giving it a look. Um, I like some of the pictures in the Miro one. I think I will give the Miro one a go. So, so there's those two. I'm trying to go quick today, have you seen? I'm trying to go quick. Um, the next book I bought was this. And I, this, I've wanted this for ages. I've, a kind of um and ah about the Entangled Range by Angela Porter. I've seen the garden one and I like the look of it. And I've seen the eerie art one and I like the look of it. But I don't like all the pages in it. But this Christmas one, I like the look of it. I don't know why, I can just imagine... Look at the gingerbread men. 
it's not too tangly and it's not too I don't know I just like the look of it and it went out of stock for ages and I was like damn it should have bought it and then it came back in stock so I did it's a few mandala -y type ones in it so bought that the next book that came was ooh out of focus oh there we go my camera had a little bit of a mad five minutes there oh this this i have the ink house book i think it's fabulous but i'm scared to color in it whereas oh look 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 i can color in this one without being worried about ruining the book oh look he's got rich tea and he's dunking it just like me so yeah i'm looking forward to being brave enough to give this a go it's definitely a pencil job that one this book i bought it's a german book called magisch traumwelt which means magical dream world and this means uh, time to relax zeit zum entspannen hey you wouldn't think it but i do actually speak german and bisschen anyway so this looked really nice it's a german one and it has got the wall and i did actually watch a flip through of this in german and there were some pages that i really liked the look of and others that i didn't and i actually thought to myself i'm going to get it because it wasn't mega expensive and i'm still going to use alcohol markers in it and not care that a page on the other side might get ruined because what i was thinking of doing is pages that I don't like like I really like that I really want to do that one I quite like that one as well though that's the problem yeah I like the look of it so I bought it <laughs> um, the next book I got from Amazoni is da -da 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 -da, another big mandala book now this book if I can find them I will lay over the top here some of the beautiful pictures on Instagram. I follow a few Dutch colorists on Instagram and they use in this book and some of the pictures are so beautiful and I was just like, I'm gonna buy it. Look at it. This is really nice paper again. Look, that is so thick, that paper. It's like card. So nice. Look, look at that, look at that, look at that. That's one of your type, Emma, where you just do the lines. It's beautiful. Huge as well. This book is huge. Oh, I can't stop flipping through it now. But anyway, bought this. Now, the that was all I bought from Amazon. See, that was quick, wasn't it? Well, that didn't even come from Amazon. That's all I bought from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all I bought from Amazon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 new books. Two of them I didn't have to pay for because they were sent to me. So 11 new books. <coughs> no, it's still 13. Actually, it's still 13. Ignore that. <laughs> the next lot of books I actually got from a book outlet company. And I'm going to show you them. They're not all for me. The first one was this one, which I've actually bought for my mum um, towards Christmas. It's by the Buster Activity Company, which is the same as another book that I got from the works for her. But this one, is, and it's that same nice paper that works really well with felt tip pens. And I bought it specifically for this picture, which is a cowboy, because she always talks about a Rob Roy colouring book that she had when she was a kid. But also because there's the colours to cut, the colours to copy, which she, when she's colouring, she always says, I don't know what colour to do this. I don't know what colour to do this. So I thought this way she can copy the colours. I know it's really childlike. To be honest, I quite fancy it myself. It's only cheap. It was only like £1.79 or something. She's not going to want to do the pterodactyls. So I must admit, I'd quite like to do that one. <laughs> she's not going to want to do the tractors she might want to do the masks but yeah I bought her that for her Christmas stocking 
I then bought this because it was only £2.29 um, and I hadn't seen, I bought it without looking at any flip throughs which is totally against my uh, new policy of not buying anything without flip throughs and I'm not mad keen on it. I, I don't think I will colour in it. So I am going to say if anyone would like this colouring book to be sent to them in the UK, I'm not going to send it to America, it'll cost more in postage than it will to buy the book. Um, if anyone would like me to send them this book, please just leave a comment um, down below and I will send it to you. So there's that one. Um, the next one is one that I did buy for myself but I might give it to my brother. It's called Fabulous Beats, Night and Day, Amazing Creatures to Bring to Life. Illustrated by Patricia Moffat. And it's these kind of, you know, griffins and them kind of animals. And I quite like it, but I don't really like these kind of mandala type. Oh, look, it's Medusa mandala -y type um, so there she is day and there she is night uh -huh. so does that mean horses day and horses night yeah and that's how it works are they the same way around yeah. if you colour it with felt pens it would go through to the other side I quite like doing some of them look at that one but yeah um, I might give it to my brother. I'm not sure. I'm not sure he'd want to do it either, actually. If you are interested in this book, let me know as well. Now, the next thing I bought was how exciting do these sound? Look at these. Let me take you up as far as you can. These are called 16 marker colouring sheets. Let's get right in and see what they say. It says, for felt tip pens and markers, there, and it says, professional bleed proof marker paper from responsible sources, acid free, colour fast and age resistant. Well, let's just read that again. Professional bleed proof marker paper. I bought this one, which is like, um, uh, well, it says it's called India, so it's more like sort of paisley sort of pans. I bought this one, which is all modernist art, which I really like that. Look at that. They're the kind of things I'd quite like to colour. Look at this, black and white. I'll do that, no worries. I bought this one, which is floral images. And look at the picture there. It's got a pro marker and an alcohol pen. And it's marker colouring sheets, professional, bleed through, marker paper. Look at the images on this one. How amazing are they? And this one is called 1960s Designs. Oh, look. Look at it. And then this one, Arabian, I was going to say Arabian Nights then, Arabian Designs. Yet again, professional, bleed proof, marker paper. So I had to have a go. I couldn't wait. <laughs> I couldn't wait for my hauled video. I had to have a go. I had to bring you all the way down and try to make you focus. This, this is two different pens. This is the Stedler alcohol pen. That's this bit here, which strangely, as soon as you kind of touch the paper, it does that horrible seeping thing, you know, over the lines. And I was like, oh, I was disappointed with that, but hey, let's go with it. Just dob that bit in there like that. Not finished. And this is a water-based Stadler tripless pen. So let's let's just do this on this professional bleed-proof marker paper. And let's see how professional and bleed-proof this paper is. That's the alcohol marker, and that's the water-based marker. Them two dots were water-based marker. How is this professional bleed-proof marker paper? 
in any way, shape or form. So, word to the wise. Do not buy these 16 marker colouring sheets, which are not professional bleed proof marker paper because they're just not. <laughs> they're not. So yeah, I was quite disappointed actually when they came. So it's one of the reasons why I'm not going to recommend where I bought them from because unless you want to know, if you want to know, just drop me an email and I'll tell you. Or a message, send me a message and I'll tell you. But I'm not not recommending those. Um then the next book I bought was this one um, last, was it last week? So yeah, this not the last one, but the one before, Colour and Connect on Saturday. Uh, Audrey was colouring in this and I bought, um, I was like, oh, that looks so nice just to sort of grab your pencils and have a quick colour with. And there was one um, used on Amazon going for £2.85 free postage. So I bought the used one because it doesn't need to be, you know, I'm only going to colour in it and I don't have to pay six ninety nine for the new one. And I, when it came, look, this was a gift to someone. And they'd written on it, happy birthday, Fionella. Virtual hugs from Beers. He's drawn a little picture of a man hugging. He's crossed that 100 and put 101 hugs. And the lady who got that went, lovely, thanks. Don't want it. Now yeah, maybe they split up. Maybe they're not friends anymore. But... I don't know, if someone bought me that and drew a little hug in it, I'd have to keep it. Anyway, I'll look after it. Thanks, Beers, if you're out there. Um, and then obviously, I bought this book. <laughs> and uh, it's strange because I'm not a Rita Berman fan. Sorry, I just heard that global intake of breath that you all said as I said that. Um, I do have two of her colouring books, the summer and the spring one. And I've shown them before when I was going through my declutter that I didn't, they wasn't really my taste. And then I pulled them out of the declutter pile to do the um, summer tag thing because I was going to colour in them. And then I haven't coloured in them because I don't still think they're my taste. And I look at the winter one and I like the look of the winter one, but I think I haven't used the spring and the summer one. And then I saw this one came out and I, I watched a few flip throughs in it and I thought, oh, actually I quite like this one. And then um, it went down to seven pounds, 12 or relatively cheap price from where it started. So I bought it because I do, I mean, don't get me wrong. I still don't like the pigeons with hats on or whatever that is, but I do like, you know, the little houses and the, this seaside one and the, yeah, that one, that little one with all the little gingerbread houses in it. They're not gingerbread houses, but they look like gingerbread houses. You know what I mean. And I like the fact that it's round Europe. That's got to be Venice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I love this one. Look at it. it this. I want to colour that. <laughs> and this. Yeah, I really like this. I'm pleased I bought it. So this is this has turned the tide on Rita Berman for me, so I'm I'm really happy with that. And that's it. See, hardly anything this month. I'd hardly call it a massive haul, and it was more than six books. So thanks very much for watching, watching everyone, and take care. Bye.